Hello to everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy Laravel project on Amazon. So uh, let's uh, go to the Amazon page. Uh, Amazon will ask you to log in. Okay, uh, let's uh, login so uh, the Amazon directly opened the day the console because I was here not long ago but if you stay long without the uh, login the page uh, you will be asked to log in so uh, to deploy a Laravel project on Amazon uh, the first thing that we need is to create a EC2 instance so let me look for EC2 instance here Okay, here I have is the two instance. So, so as I have a, in an instance running, running, uh, went directly to here. But uh, if you don't have an instance running, uh, an instance here created, so uh, Amazon will ask you to create an instance. So to come here to the to come to the dashboard. Uh, let me open the instance that is running. So uh, here we can see that you have the instances and the, what uh, from the dashboard, what I type was a, a instance that is running, but also I can find uh, all instance, every instance that I have. So uh, to the first thing to that we need to run the project is create instance. Uh, to create this dance, it's all uh, all uh, click this uh, button, launch this dance, and after this we fill uh, the name. Uh, also, we choose the the operation system. Uh, I like to choose uh, Ubuntu, and we can go for free tire eligibly. And uh, we have other things uh, to choose. The important things to connect to connect uh, the the Amazon uh, EC2 instance uh, from local computer. It's a heavy one way. It's have a key pair. So uh, the, uh, when we create this key pair, uh, we can if we will connect uh, using Putty. Uh, we can uh, choose this option and create the keeper. So every time that we not we need to connect it to a C2 instance, uh, we 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 we, we, we uh, use the, the, the this this keeper to connect it to a C2 instance. So I already have one here, uh, and also uh, when you create an instance, you can create have a new keeper. Or you can use uh, from the list uh, from others that you already created and uh, also the some important things you have to hello here the, the, the so for connecting distance we have to 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 to, to help from this uh, these uh, rules no? and uh, you have uh, uh, possibility of increase your your disk here but also you can have the other volumes so you for for this uh, this option you have up to a uh, six gigabytes uh, and uh, after this we launch uh, uh, distance so as I already have one running I will not launch distance but we can see uh, how it look like so after you create this dance you have to uh, wait until this uh, 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 
to check this is complete so for running for running the uh, distance so let me open this one that i have here so uh, for connect the distance we will need the ip and also if we deploy a, a relevant project in the in the existence we will uh, connect from this also this uh, ip and uh, also we can use uh, this uh, uh, this uh, dns uh, ip4 public ip4 and uh, after we create distance we can uh, let me look here see some detail storage okay we have uh, here 10 uh, volume size but we can increase this one uh, uh, security here is the uh, uh, the port uh, that we have to for connections and uh, okay I think that is okay uh, we can go to the local machine and try to connect the distance Uh, so uh, we, to connect the the the, the, the EC2 instance, we will use the a putty. So uh, I have here. Uh, uh, let me open a uh, uh, putty, and uh, uh, something that I need it to uh, the IP. Uh, let me first okay Ubuntu uh, the port would be 22 uh, uh, I have to change here otherwise will not work in my local machine okay and uh, okay uh, for call oh, the, 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 uh, the the credential to connect to the AC distance we will have to get from from the so this uh, AC2 key is the key that uh, I created and I downloaded from AC2 instance when I was uh, creating the AC2 instance so uh, as I said previous that uh, uh, when we create this two instance we can create a new or use the uh, some old key so I open it and uh, I think that it's all okay. Open. So mm, I'm connecting. Okay. So uh, now I am in the stance. So uh, uh, to run a, 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 a Ravel, uh application uh, relevant project in this instance we need the uh, to install uh, apache php and a uh, 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 a composer also we can install also composer but uh, uh, you can see in the other video uh, how uh, you can install apache uh, php and the composer but now uh what we have to understand it's a uh, uh, and also you can see another video uh how to uh, uh, run a relevant project in local machine so uh, uh, all this video will be the its link will be in the description so uh but what we have to understand in this point is that the, 
uh, to run a relevant pro- project in this two state. The first thing we need to have a patch and the page be installed. Uh, and you, after this, uh, you can uh, uh, take the project instance, all files of the project, and uh, uh, put it in the uh, this folder. So let me list this folder, including uh, hidden files. So uh, we put every files of of the Ralavel in the root folder of HTML, and uh, also we must know that uh, we have to create uh, in this root folder. We have to create the. Uh, HTA access file. So let let me see the content of HTS HT access file. So uh, cut uh, okay. So uh, uh, after this to run a, a relevant application, we have to have this uh, file created and with this content. Uh, after this, we can uh, 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 open uh, from the browser the, the project. So let me... using the the address that the thank you for 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 watching this tutorial